Hello and welcome to Acton TV sports coverage of Colonial football. I'm Tim Lito with Mark Shire in Chelmsford as the Colonials get set to take on the Chelmsford Lions for the season opener 2018. Mark, would you forget to shave or something? What's going on here? Yeah, I just, I didn't shave this morning, you know. Actually, I'm going to Greece tomorrow, so I figured, you know, when in Greece, do as the Grecians do. That's great. I like it. I like it. You know, there's a little chill in the air. Some leaves are starting to turn. I never right, thought I'd know? be wearing a jacket tonight after 98 degrees yesterday. Yes, that's a pretty, pretty big change, you know. But you know what time it is? No, what time is it? It's time to start off with the best football rivalry in all of Massachusetts. It's Acton Boxborough against Chelmsford. What a storied rivalry over all these years. But first, a word from our sponsor. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. Boy, it's great. I, you know, I, I really miss this. It's like, whatever, 10, 11 months of just missing AB football, but it's back. And, you know, we have Finn Murray back at quarterback. You know, Mark, take us through the 2018 Colonials. Well, I'll tell you, Finn Murray is coming back for his third varsity season. And as you know, last year was Coach Bassett's first year. Uh, new offense, everybody kind of getting their rhythm. And uh, we were a playoff team. We went 0-3 to start the season. We lost to Chelmsford 35-14. to It was 14-14 at the half, but you had uh, Sal Lup Lupoli, who was a Division II Player of the Year, absolutely scorched us, and their quarterback, Matt Hooten, uh, threw three touchdown passes. We lost 35-14. to uh, The good news is that they both graduated, <laughs> and Chelmsford is really rebuilding right now. And uh, I had a chance to actually have dinner with Coach Bassett. And, you know, we were drinking Diet Cokes throughout dinner, which kind of opened things up. <laughs> and, and Coach Bassett really said that as Finn Murray goes, this team goes. He is really the key to this team. Uh, last year, uh, Finn did not change a lot of plays. Uh, this year, Coach Bassett really expects Finn to use his instincts and I would like to see him run more because I see even in, in the scrimmage to see Finn run uh, really makes a big difference. Uh, he was a great passer, 
threw for 11 touchdowns, ran for five, even completed a pass to himself. I, I don't know if you play. remember, I that, remember play. that play. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but we've got some great skill players coming back. Vic Otero, number six, put on 15 pounds of muscle. Stan Bernard, number four, an absolute speedster. We have Jake Durkin back. We lost Jake for the whole year, and they reward, rewarded Jake's perseverance by naming him co-captain this year, which I think was just a fantastic gesture on the part of the, uh, the team and the coaching staff. Yeah, and uh, I checked in with Mr. C on, on Jake, and it's, unfortunately he's got a, a wrist uh, fracture. He's going to be out for about four weeks, but we should see him. Wow, uh, Charlie, okay, so that's, 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 uh, that's, that's new news, yeah, yeah. yeah, new news as of tonight. That's a tough, tough, tough break for sure. But we really do have a lot of skilled players. We, we've got big haulers, Durstein in the line, and uh, his brother Finn actually is now playing for Boston College, wow. and I think Hollis has got a great career ahead of him. We've got... Uh, T.J. Mapardi coming back. We've got uh, Andrew Chen coming back. And of course, uh, Fleming, uh, who is a, a co-captain, coming back too. So we, we've got a lot of skilled players. Tim, the problem is, is that we don't have enough players. Uh, we, don't, we have like 40 upperclassmen instead of the usual 60 or 70. It's gonna, that's gonna be tough from a conditioning standpoint. Yeah, thank God for a uh, you know a cool night tonight. But you're right; these kids are going to be playing a lot of football, and I think endurance or you know just conditioning will be a big test for this team. But I do like the fact that we have a lot of skilled players returning, and I just want to comment on Finn Murray. You know, this kid has that classic short-term memory for an athlete that you need, especially playing the position of quarterback. You know, throw the ball in a tight spot. You know, and they'll come right back, and if that, that ball's batted away or intercepted, it'll come right back for that. I, I love that. About he's, he's, he's got the memory of a great baseball closer. You know? Yeah. You just yeah. Don't, you don't remember that last pitch that was hit out. And, and uh, yeah. And uh, on the other side, uh, really, it's uh, Pacillo, who is uh, going to be the quarterback. Nick is going to be the quarterback of the defense and he is going to run that defense. So it's really, according to Coach Bassett, it's really Finn Murray on the offense, Puccillo on the defense, and we can't forget number 87, Jonas Weckman. Uh, we, we affectionately call him Gronk, and, he, and he's number 87, and he made some Gronk-like plays, and I think he's probably put on about 15 or 20 pounds, and he's looking more and more like Gronk. He's listed at 6'2", 205, but I think that is those are that's fake news. That's bogus numbers. He can't be five pounds less than me. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Now, <laughs> now Chelmsford is rebuilding. I, you know, they've got they had a quarterback uh, competition. We're still not quite sure who's going to start a quarterback. Mike Vecchioni is there. They've got some quality players, but they've lost a lot in the past year. They were five and six last year. They did go to the playoffs. They beat Newton South. Uh, but, you know, A.B. won six out of its last eight games last year. The only real bad loss was to Central Catholic, and that is, you know, that, that's nothing wrong about losing to Central Catholic. So uh, A.B. really started putting it together with this new offense, and I'm looking for good things to happen. Uh, we just have to take a look at the secondary and make sure that the secondary is able to really uh, tighten up and, uh, and, and keep people off the scoreboard. Yeah, you know, I, I think to sum it up from my point of view, installing that offense last year is, a, is very challenging, and they really put it together. It took them about three games to get a feel of it. It was well, well on its way as we went through the middle of the season. Probably one of the most entertaining offenses that I've seen A.B. Absolutely. ever put on the field, yeah. and that's saying a lot given the days of, you know, Barry Jensen and the A-Bears and so on and so forth. And so I really like the way they learned. And that's really a, a classic, you know, season carryover from last year to this year. Kids changed. But in this particular case, they installed a brand new offense, and there's some new, you know, capability that's just coming over from the 2017 season. So what do you say, Mark? All right, let's, let's play, play some, some football. football. Play for judges, play for yourselves, play for the people watching. Football! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! 
Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. Welcome back to Acton TV Sports presentation of Colonials Football. Today's game has been brought to you by Huntington Learning Center, Gallant Insurance, Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation, Medical Aesthetics, TC Landos, Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC. Acton Pharmacy. National Aviation Academy. All right, welcome back, everybody. Kickoff time, AB kicking off. I didn't catch the, uh, the toss, Mark. I don't know if you did there. There's five captains in chunks for yeah, five, five <laughs> captains on each team. We've got Mike Vecchioni. Deep. He is Joe Vecchioni's little brother. There's a great football family right there. Ben and Mark Murray. got it. The good kick. Ball received on the 10. And it's uh, Mike Vecchioni with the with the carry up to about the 20. Let's call it the 25 yard line. Okay. First and 10. Yeah, anytime you can hold him at the 25 yard line, that's a good start for AB. That was a good kickoff, a lot of height to that. Almost looked like a punt, but it had plenty of distance for a high school kickoff. Okay, so we've got number seven, senior Chris Rabius. Chris Rabius. Who, who uh, won that four-way competition. Both teams run really the same offense. This is spread. You see a, they're in a divide formation here. I think we have a little movement. I think uh, number 79 was going for a cut block, Kyle Sweeney, captain. We had a, uh, we had a Kyle Sweeney too, right? Yeah. 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 Maybe 150 pound difference. Yeah, I know. He was a little guy. <laughs> so, was that a whistle or a timeout? No, it was a timeout. 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 I was shocked. You, you, uh, you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of we got a, uh, a we got a spotter out, here a few, for us a few penalties uh, you know first game of the season a lot of nerves all right Andy Shore in the backfield. all right a keeper. Around the edge and well covered. Maybe a five yard loss. It's three Colonials. 
take down. Oh, that, was, that was great for Sue. Rabius. Very slow developing play. Looked like an early season uh, play there. Becky only went in motion that last play. Let's see. Uh, divide formation. This time it's a fake dive. Rabius keeps it oh, and yeah. is absolutely pummeled for another three yard loss as the AB defense comes out aggressive. Okay, that's Finn Murray. On the stop with about three other players. So it's third and long right now for Chelmsford. And we're gonna see their passing game right now. Maybe 16, 17 yards. And we got another timeout. That was great pursuit, that last play. We had three or four AB players. I don't know if we can pick up that play again on, on replay, but really good pursuit. Finn Murray come, coming in from his secondary position to uh, just put the finishing touches on that. I want to thank uh, the whole Acton TV team for all the new equipment this year. New, new truck, beautiful HD replay camera in front of us this year. Graphics look you know, like the and the fact that they pick us up in a limo now to bring us to the stadium is it. just—it's just great. Pass the shrimp. Okay, here we go. All right, third and long. Rabius rolls out and getting some pressure as he throws the ball. It's complete, short of the and first there's down. And a flag. We got a flag on the play. That flag is in the secondary, so let's check it out. It's still still short of a first down. Okay, we have an illegal receiver downfield, it looks like. And that play did take a long time to develop as Rebius was sprinting out and one of the linemen got out into the secondary. And that's gonna be a loss of down. So good first defensive uh, sequence for AB. Very firm in that front seven, uh, really. Looks good, all right. The Lions get set to punt. Uh, here we have Vic Otero back in his own 50. Maybe the 45 as he lines up here. And you've got number 20. I don't know if we could get number 20 there. There's number 20, Noah Sweeney. He is a track guy who has come to play football. He's like the Bob Hayes of AB football. This kid ran a 10.92 hundred meters. The all-time New England record is 10.36, and Usain Bolt, last race, ran a 9.94. So this kid is the fastest kid who's ever played for AB, number 20. I think he beat me by 50 yards if I tried to run that. All right, Vic Otero, back at his 30 yard line, good punt, fair catch called, and Otero catches it at about the 39. All right, good field for position for AB, and Vic Otero, very sure handed receiver. Yeah, they really crowded him almost NFL style. The ball's placed on the 41. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a good, good spot. spot. A good yeah. spot. I think we made a yard and a half on the spot. And let's see what we come out with. As we said, I, I expect to see Finn Murray run more this season and really improvise plays. Yeah, I we got uh, Pat Cornouet. All right, AB lines up in a divide. And nice little power run for about seven or eight yards goes Pat Cronowitz rumbles, really. I really like what they did there. That's just a and 35 power. That, That's a wing team yeah, play. Yeah, that was TJ Mabardi, number 78 on that block, just springing Cronowitz. Cronowitz 
pounds his way uh, just short of the first down, maybe uh, at midfield. And uh, Mark, you could see AB, I mean, uh, Chelmsford over shift to that side of the field, to the, to the, uh, to the side we just ran it twice on. So this is a, uh, this is set up for a counter. Absolutely, big time, because you, already got, you, got, you got big Hollis Durstein there at right tackle. And he can clear out three or four guys. Ooh. Wow. Pass intended for. That's Dan Bernard. Dan Bernard. And, and this, uh, tell, this tells me they're probably going to go for it. Cam D'Angelo jumped the route. I would be surprised at this point in the game if they didn't go for it. They're going, they're going for the big play on third down. And I don't, I, there we go. Pugillo is coming in, Kronowitz coming out. With Finn Murray in, you know, he's the punter, Some so. confusion here, they're just lining up now on their, you know, spread right, where they get go. the play, here we go. First big play of the season here. Possession play. Finn Murray yeah. up the middle okay, and he a spot, I think it's a first down. I think where that sideline judges for the ref, that's a first down. He's got it Here's by a, a replay. sliver, I think. Look at the keeper here. He makes a nice cut, and I'd say you're right. He's well. I mean, that's close. I I, I got to call it a first down. They're going to measure. They're going to measure. I got a first down by half a football, Tim. Well, you can see the uh, the Chelmsford linesman tilting that chain, <laughs> you know. Uh, so he's making it real hard to read it. Okay, as we hold our collective breaths here, it's gonna be very close. We're gonna stretch it out. That is a first down. That's a first by down a by a quarter inch. No, wait a minute. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? That's about as close as you're gonna get. I don't think you could have put a quarter in that, between that, that. That's a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper. Oh, here's he a, the here's a replay. Down. Wow. <laughs> I was sure that Finn Murray had it. Let's see where that ball is. You know, I think that's a pretty tough spot. That, that ball was past the 50, uh, past the, uh, you know, about the 48 and a half, I thought. But Chelmsford for ball. Fake, it's a keeper. And oh, yeah. again, AB defense. Very quick and disciplined. You can see the linebackers all in place. Here's the replay. All right, take a look at this. Coming in, there's the fake. And watch this, just holding his position. And that is Matthew, Matthew Cox. Cox. Matthew Cox made a lot of great plays last year, and he just held his position. He didn't get he didn't get suckered by that play. All right, under trouble, in trouble here, and the pass is complete to midfield. Becchioni scrambles his way back to the original line of scrimmage, maybe a yard gain. Well, that could have been that could have been about a 15-yard loss. And you can see just a glimpse of Vecchioni's speed here. Watch this. He's in trouble. He's got one guy going after him. Almost had him, another guy. And watch, watch Vecchioni. Look at this move here. All right, here we go. We're going live. Oh, that ball's on the ground. Tough snap here. Ve Ravius gets away, cuts back in the middle, and gets maybe a yard or two to bring a fourth down. All right, punting situation. And I think A.B. dodged a bullet there. There's a lot of confidence in that uh, in that defense, and Chelmsford's going to go for it. Midfield, very similar decision to what we just made here. Could be a quick kick, though. Let's see. I can't believe they're going to go for it. 
A lot of time is ticking off here. And okay. And maybe they tried to get AB off sides and get five yards closer. A couple timeout. teams coming in, I think. Yeah, timeout challenge for 544 to go in the first quarter. All right, let's take a look at our uh, top 20 here if we have time to do that. But guess what? It's the usual suspects. Everett, Zavarian. But I want you to take a look at number three, Lincoln Sudbury. They lost to King Philip in the Super Bowl, and they are the team to beat in the uh, in the dual county league. King Philip, with that win, now has 25 wins in a row for the uh, most wins in Massachusetts right now. Just got that ball. What a punt! Vic Otero back to his 10-yard line. That ball was punted. 45 yards, that was a close to 45 kick. yards. Absolutely beautiful. And kick. it was, uh, you know, pro height. It looked like to me. I mean, that. I had a, I had a 4.7 hang time. I <laughs> had my iPhone out, my stopwatch going. All right, first and 10 AB. Ball right. on the 11. Tim, we, we we got a little greedy there on third down. We had we had something going. We had a good rushing game going. We had the the line really pulling out, and uh, let's see what happens here. High snap, but give this to, looks like Cronowit this time. Chelmsford's calibrated to that play. Little underneath handoff, and uh, here's the replay. Tim Barlow of Chelmsford's been all over the field. You'll see him again in this play. Yeah, that's why, that's why he's a captain. He's one of their top players and he just blew that play out. All right, watch Dan Bernard. He's a speedster, he split out, he split out right. All right. And he's open, he's open. Wow, big time catch. Goes Ethan Lowe down the sideline and across inside the Lions territory to the 40. And we got a flag, we got a flag on top of that. And you had, you had two receivers right in the same area. I don't know if that was a, a busted uh, route by one of them, but uh, let's see what the situation is here. It looks like it's coming back. It might be something that Stan Bernard did after the catch. Stan Bernard had four yards on his defender. Let's see what the call is here. I haven't seen a ref make a call yet. They just walked it off. And it's A.B. Uh, ball. B. Okay, all right. Great reception. Ethan Logue was last year, last year's surprise. I mean, he came out of nowhere to make some really quality reception. yards in the catch. The give is up the middle. Nice little underneath belly play goes That's our Alex. sophomore. Alex Burrowett. Alex Burrowett burls his way for about uh, six, seven, six minutes. Call it uh, four you were, yards. You were, you were just waiting to use that phrase, weren't you? Just came to mind, yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Burrowett really as a freshman really made a mark last year. And he's going to be used a lot this year in the rushing game. Then Murray, the keeper up the middle, explodes and scrambles his way across the 25 to the. See where they placed that. He stumped. Here's the replay. Watch this. All right, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You fake the handoff, you run straight up the middle. We we played a team last year that just absolutely killed us with that play. Quarterback right up the middle, and uh, that's going to be a real, real weapon this year. All right, Finn back the pass. A little nice, nice little slant route. Oh, beautiful. The Stan, Stan Bernard. Bernard. Catching that, in, you know. In traffic, in which traffic. is unusual because Stan, Stan loves the sidelines. But this is in heavy traffic and good catch. 
That shows a lot of uh, maturity on his part, though. He caught that ball. He wasn't. His feet weren't moving. He just. They, he looked very secure in All that. All right, we've got. <laughs> we got a timeout here. Or? But, uh, you know, the crazy thing, Tim, is that the best football player in Acton doesn't even play for Acton Boxborough. It's Tyler Martin, who plays for BB&N. He is a sophomore. At the end of eighth grade, the University of Michigan offered him a full athletic scholarship. We'll talk a little bit more about it. Wow. Your research. It's amazing. A keeper again as they're running. Finn Murray up the middle as he's Goes all the way up to the three. The ball's loose, the ball's loose and recovered. It I think looks it's like AB ball. That was a hard hit from the back. He didn't see it. Finn Murray could easily average 100 yards a game rushing this season. Here's the replay. Watch the end of this play. Finn, again, with a great vision, and he stays on his feet. Look at him mauling people. Okay, we're going and live there it again is. here. This is exactly what Coach Bassett said about Finn using, using his legs. Little option play. And All right, we got some, decent, got some decent yardage on first down inside the 10. Nick Priscillo with the carry. a lot of interchangeable parts with running backs and receivers. We've got about a about a dozen kids who can act both as running back and receivers. So can move them in and out. Second and goal on the two. Chrono it in the backfield. Otero in motion goes. Oh, he's and in. And he's in. Touchdown, he's in. Colonials. And you talk about Vic Otero and that size and strength. And I'm not sure if last year Vic Otero would have gotten in. Look at this. He's just pulling his way in. You see how he got low on that play yeah. and established his leverage. Just, yeah, I think you're right. I think Vic Otero doesn't make that, that play. And once again, you have TJ Mabardi in front of that play. The O-line has done an excellent job so far. Bad, bad snap there, but we get the kick off, and it looks good to me, and it is. So with two minutes to go in the first quarter, A.B. goes up 7-0 against the Lions. And you can give an assist to Vic Otero, who was the holder in that play. He made a great play with that bad snap. Eighty-two total yards so far for Finn Murray. Wow, that's a that's a good uh, that's a good quarter. <laughs> that's a good game. <laughs> game level stats. Well, we got so we we got a little revenge here. Two years ago, uh, it was Chelmsford 31-14. Last year it was Chelmsford 35-14. Oh, you know, during the century, we're 12 and 8 against Let's Take a look at this look touchdown at this. again. Vic look, Otero. Look at him get low and just push his way in. Little uh, fly zip play there. And nice kick. All the way back to, to four. And Vecchioni takes it up to the 25 That's again, exactly, good coverage. Yeah. Good coverage because that kick, you know, you talk about out kicking your coverage, that ball got to Vecchioni in a hurry and they could have set up a return, but uh, good field position for AB with Chelmsford starting on the 25. See a lot of, lot of energy, a lot of energy, a lot of confidence, a lot of, you see a lot of communication. We talked about the skill players, Mark, but I think we've seen a physicality to this team so far that, uh, you know, gives you some optimism about this season. Vecchioni bounces out and gets around oh, the corner that is for about three. Pursuit. That is great pursuit. Matthew Cox with the play, staying on it. You'll see this in the... Look at Cox, look at Cox chasing him. Just pursuing him, you've got Sweeney stopped him and Cox got him. All right, 
little fumble play there, and wow, Nick Priscillo. I was, you know, before that play started, I could see Nick Priscillo giving out the directions. Watch this, if you can see it as the play starts. Now, so he got some confusion in the backfield. Nice contain, and Nick Priscillo. Yeah, in yeah, attack Jed, mode. Jed Hoggard doing a nice job sending the runner into the waiting arms of Nick. See if he they, is, uh, he's our man in the middle. See if they test Noah Sweeney on the sidelines there. They look that way, and uh, he's like, Whoa, look at that! Wow! Look at that! Look at that! That is a captain! That is Captain Andrew Fleming running down the Chelmsford quarterback and just stretching out. Wow, you know, this is a different look. You really you haven't seen the a defense with the ability to catch scrambling quarterbacks inside out with, you know, with the tenacity in an A-B team in, a, in uh, you know, in a few years, Mark. Really, that's, that's good to see. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's been a really terrific quarter. We, you know, speed, you can't teach speed, as they say. I mean, speed is... Uh, is something that just makes such a difference. And when you have speed in the line, that's something that really, really matters. With the first quarter over, Rabius has six carries for two yards. All right, Rabius has two total yards, and Finn Murray, 82 total yards in the first quarter. All right. Okay, we're, this is going to be a turnover, Vic Otero, at the 40-yard line. This time, a little bit more pressure on that punt, and Otero just lets it go, and it's covered by Chelmsford on the AB uh, 49. All right, good place to start. Ted, talking a little bit more about Tyler Martin. This kid is an absolute physical specimen. Entering ninth grade, he was 6'3", 227 pounds. As a freshman for Buckingham, Brown, and Nichols, he made 100 tackles. And University of Michigan has given him, has offered him a full scholarship, and there are tons of other schools now chasing him. And he could be out there right now. He, he's Mark Martin's son. Mark used to play quarterback for AV and uh, coached a little bit here. All right, the give is to. Yeah, Morrow, Morrow went right up the middle, but Morrow. it's that line. Wow, what it's a that big line push. who is doing the job. Got... Alex Burrow, watch him with the. With the, he wasn't touched until he was about six yards in running. In you got Fleming, ball. you got Andrew uh, Chen, who was, really came through. You got Kyle Terranova. All right, fake the chrono it. Ball's thrown to Vico Till. He's got the seed down. Touchdown. Oh, that's Wow, he was shit. wide open by. Three car lengths. Two car <laughs> that that looked like the YouTube. That looks like the YouTube of a coach drawing up a play and showing you how to do it. Vic Otero, five yards behind the defender, and Finn just hit him right, right on the six. Beautiful in stride throw. All I don't right. know about you, Tim. I'm having a heck of a good time so far. Oh, tonight. this is uh, this is fun to watch. Kick is up, and it is good across the beautiful night sky there with uh, a lot of time left in the second quarter. Ten minutes to go, 14 nothing maybe. I was going to say before we started this series that you really, the Chelmsford coaching staff really can't say, okay, we need to adjust because Acton is doing this because we really kind of... They're, they're doing everything. We're doing everything. Right, exactly. We're running, we're running up the middle. We're running on the end. We're basically, we've run power. 
Here's a touchdown. What a beautiful, confident throw. There's play action. And you see how quick that release was. Yeah, we we said last year Finn gets rid of the ball pretty quickly, you know, for he didn't even step into it. He just planted his feet and threw that ball. Yeah, that was that was that was just pass and catch. That reminds me of an old Tennessee uh, 34 song. If the right one don't get you, the left <laughs> one will. It's uh, you know, pick your poison, inside, outside right now. All right, this time a low kick, three different kicks. And up the middle, much better return for Chelmsford goes number 10, uh, Mike Lapoli. Yeah, and Finn, Finn Murray got pancaked there uh, by uh, Andy Shore of uh, Chelmsford on that play. So I'm sure they're looking for the quarterback, you know, for a uh, preferred block. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how Chelmsford responds. Last few years, they're not used to being in this position with A.V. Chelmsford offensive line is foot to foot in their makeup. Again, some confusion. And look at A.V. maintain position on that edge. Nobody got turned around. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and there's just nowhere to go. That, there's a lot of discipline out there. Yeah, once again, you see Matt Cox in on the play along with Finn Murray. Wow. Matt, Matt, Hollis Matt Durstein Cox looks made like a lot of great special team play. Yeah, Hollis Durstein looks like he should be in college right now. He really does. And, wow, Vecchione gets... Nothing doing, nothing doing. Maybe Too much speed. Three, four yard loss there. Yeah, you're not going to beat this team out in the flat. All right, let's see if we can take another look at that. And you know, we always we always talk about sideline to sideline speed. And you've got you've got two problems here. You got Matt Cox right there again. All right, maybe this back to pass is rolling out. He's looks like they're set up almost for a screen play. Finn Murray pushes. The receiver out of bounds. Okay, another punting situation. But we, we always talk about other teams having sideline to sideline speed, and that's the thing that kind of kills AB from time to time. I think this year we may be the ones with the sideline to sideline speed. And Mark, what I really like uh, again is you don't see like three players stacked. You see three players, you know, two yards apart with wise covering the lanes. Uh, there's a this looks much more disciplined than the years past on the, on the edge. Almost blocked there. And Otero will let that go. That's going to get a good bounce to the 23. The way AB's going after these punts, they're going to get one for the game. And the kick can, can really kick. But. All right, 7.52 to go in the first half. It's nice to have this cooler weather. Well, I'll tell you, this is a, you know, and this is also a perfect night to throw the ball. I don't know if we can get a picture of the flags, uh, but uh, those flags are absolutely still. It's a night, and uh, it's a great night to throw the football. All right, I agree. Stan Bernard split out. Noah Sweeney's in the slot. He rolls out for screen and they run it to the other side. Was that Chrono with? Yep, Chrono with the power run. Yeah, but once again, it's number 78, TJ Mabardi, just laying people low. Second and two. Nice patient run to the other side. Going to be very close. Kronowit. Really like his style. I'm not going to say whether this is a first down or not. They may have another measurement. First down. Okay. First down. All right. 
but you can see players are just moving in and out. You got Ethan Lowe coming in now. He made a big catch in the first quarter. And those skilled players, when you just move them in and out, they're all fresh, Tim. There's Arnold a blitz. Beckham, back to pass. Beautiful. Catching. Bernard gets loose and spins for another five or six yards after the catch. All right, but the beauty of this, if you look at replay, is the way they picked up the blitz. Here we go. He's got plenty of time. He can pump and then throw, and he was never challenged. Here's a keeper with Finn Murray off tackle as he leaps for about eight yards close to a first down. Wow. Yeah, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. And you can, you can, you can see they are, they are just making a living going over the right side of that O-line. Rolling out, Finn looking deep over the middle. Oh, and just he had didn't get it on him, but Bernard was wide open. Yeah, Bernard, Bernard, Bernard is one person, one player who is always going to get separation. So if you, can, if you can find him, if you have the time to find him and get the ball to him, uh, he'll be there. Well, I tell you, the ball goes into his hands. They're softer this year. You know, really, you can see how that, just the way the ball's received. He's been catching out of a machine or something. You know, it really, really looks good. Okay, we'll see if this is four down territory here in the 45 yard line with a two touchdown lead. 6.04 to go in the second quarter. See, uh... I think a timeout AB. Uh, Nick Priscilla was at uh, a wing back formation. I don't know if they were going to run a little zip again. You know what? What's really surprised me is the is the disorganization and uh, really the, the lack of coordination of the Chelmsford offense. They seem very confused. Uh, even when the plays develop, they develop very slowly on that uh, on that pitch out. Uh, that was a very slow developing play, and they just don't seem crisp. Yeah, you're right. It's unusual for a Chelmsford team to see that. I right, play action and Finn Murray goes up. It'll be close. I don't know. Oh, fourth and one, I think. Let's see. You're one and one with your calls, Mark. So uh, this should uh, put you over the edge. Yeah, you're right. All right. Let's see what the play call is on fourth and one here. Jonas Wickman. Checks in. You get that big tight end on the edge there. And that that tells me that they're going to go over the right side. He's a very good blocking tight end, too. And there they go, right over that right side. Let's see if they got it. It's going to be very close. And I believe that's a first down from this angle. I think this line judge wanted it to be. Clearly. I think they got a good spot, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think. Uh, oh, first down, wow. Chelmsford. We've had, a, we've had a lot of, like, finger. Finger distances here right in the first half. That's two times the Chelmsford replay. has held them. <coughs> Let's see what this run Went over the right-hand side. We didn't get much penetration at all. <clears throat> All right. Little eye formation, and it's, wow, intercepted. That is Thomas Durstein. <clears throat> and are they, are they giving us it? Oh, that is definitely, I don't know if you call it a fumble recovery or an interception. I think it was a fumble recovery and a handoff. Let's see the replay Let's here. They this gave look, us the ball. Watch this, this looks like a rugby scrum. Here we go. The ball pops up. And Tallis says, it's my ball. Oh, See, and I don't think he, it was possession. he dropped it. 
there and no, no, they're giving uh, Jed Hogger. Yeah, Jed on the recovery, number 21, and they that was close, Tim. That was really close. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that they gave AB the ball, but they uh, figured that Hollis had possession long enough, so that was a fumble that uh, Jed Hogg had recovered. Yeah, and I think you know it was a uh, it wasn't a forward lateral or anything else. That was a fumble. Ben Murray under the rest flag. Oh, I think we might have face a mask. face mask here. That's going to bring it to the 25-yard line. Yep. There you go. All right. So that's the. Here's the first adjustment Chelsea makes here on the on the run pass option. They're sending an extra man at uh, Finn Murray, which is going to open up something in the in the passing game, something additional. Here, here's why this. You know, you got so that's that's obviously a cornerback or a safety blitz there. Well, what it's going to do, it's going it's to open up a possible bubble screen or some, some kind of screen pass. All right, first and 10 on the 25. Ben Murray looking over the middle. Vic Otero sits down. Nice possession catch. Little sit down pattern. Here's the replay of that. It looks a little bit like the, uh, the Patriots. Just go, go four yards, sit down, get a nice little gain, and second down, second and six. You can see the uh, AB team, too, run blocking and pass blocking with a lot more experience this year. It's a lot like, you know. Well, this is, not, this is not a rebuilding team. This is a team that has matured. Oh, we might have. I, ben Murray. I thought the defensive end for Chelmsford moved, just moved a little too quickly on that one, but they didn't call the flag. Ten to first in, Bernard uh, incomplete, well over his head. and uh, Every now and then, Finn lets one go. Yeah. I mean, he's got a very strong arm, and every now and then it's a little bit high and outside, as they say. All right, third down, seven. On the 22. Two down territory. Frontowit lines up in an eye. There it is to get the Frontowit, and he slams his way up for a first down. Nice run. All right. And Beautiful. Great attack. Here's the. Take a look at Andrew that offensive Fleming line. Look leads at this. the way here. Watch this. Look at this. Wes you've Fleming. got, you've got Fleming. blocks all the way. Whoa. You've got Fleming, and you also have Weckman from his tight end spot with a terrific block, with a seal block. And that leads to a first down for A.B. A long time to get the play in here by A.B. Murray looking over the middle and almost intercepted. Oh, I thought that was. He overthrew Stan Bernard and. Uh, well, that's the first time I think Chelmsford had pretty good coverage. Ryan Mitchell, I think, was sitting yeah, out there. Yeah, not a, not a lot to go for. Uh, oh, uh, right through his hands. Tyler Nolan. All right, you've got. Bernard and Weckman out left. All right, little draw play. And wow, big time Look run. Look at Alex. that speed. Look at Very that fast. speed. And there's a flag. It might be a uh, celebration flag. I think AB will take it. Alex, wow. Whoa. Well, you can see you can you can <laughs> see this coming as a freshman. He made some nice moves as a freshman, and uh, he's a year older <laughs> and, and a year stronger. A lot of uh, ref meetings here. It can't be that difficult. They got four refs, three meetings, 
And here we go with the call. It's against Chelmsford and against oh, really? AB. Okay. Yeah, the offset. Yeah. Okay. I thought they were going to go to uh, Paramus, New Jersey or whatever <laughs> for the replay. Look at that. Beautiful hand up, straight up the middle. Look at that juke. Woo! Wow. You know, the takeaway there is uh, Chelsea was in great position to stop that play for a two yard gain. And Alex just juked him out of their cleats. All right, the kick is up and it is good. AB up 21 nothing with 320 to go in the first half and there's a uh, you know there's a bucket up there and the cameras can see the the cameraman up in the bucket but um, he's he or she's seen a lot of AB action from that bucket I'll tell you that, you know? yeah that bucket is way is way up there so what do, what do we have for uh, passing yards so far Statman all righty well well, Finn Murray has made the most of his carries and his attempts. If I can just get this page flipped. Okay. He's got, he is 5 of 9 for 124 with that one touchdown on the pass. Wow. And so far, running the ball, he has not been that bad. All right, so Finn, has five all right, Finn, Finn Murray, over 200 yards of total offense in the first half. And we have a flag here. I think it might be the Chelmsford bench uh, being on the field after being warned. So this could be a penalty against Chelmsford. I want to thank our esteemed camera crew for getting the, the bucket fan. Put a great shot against the beautiful sky backdrop there. So no, they picked thanks, up, they guys. Picked, they picked up the flag, just a warning. All right, Pablo gets ready. Good kick down the middle. And oh, look great at, coverage, look 27 at yard line. Look at Noah Sweeney just sitting on that, waiting. He may be our special teams uh, player of the year. He's my, he's my uh, first game choice for possible special teams player of the year. All right, 3-12 to go in the first half, and uh, Chelmsford really hasn't uh, shown much. They've been, as you said, kind of just haven't looked crisp. And a great second, third, and fourth effort for Vecchioni to get about three yards on that play. Yeah, Vecchioni's a really good ball player. They've got, a, they've got a few good skilled players, but I just don't I just don't see the depth or the organization. Jed Hogger turned him in on that play. Nice, very nice defensive play there. Okay, you see Vic Otero going right up mano mano. Now he backs off. All right. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. Wow, no gain. I'm looking and at AB's defensive lineup, Mark. Oh my God, Andrew Chen and Matt German in on the play. Just, a, just again, confusion here. As it looked like it was supposed to be a handoff to Vecchione. I don't think that was a fake. I just think it was just Chris. You know, when you give a defense that extra split second to react, uh, you're just putting yourself at such a disadvantage, and, and that's what they're doing, play after play. It almost reminds me of the the Waltham, you know, soccer bubble offensive scheme, I whatever you call that, that thing. Yes. They used to drive me crazy. It's like, what are they doing? Yes, uh, I remember. Well, you know, this little five-year-old huddle that they do out of the backfield. I can never understand how you could intentionally coach that. But that's what it reminds me. That's what Chelmsford looks like. I'm sure that's not what they want. Third and long. Nice that play. That is not enough for a first down, so they're going to have to go for it on fourth down. They're here's, still short. Here's a replay. Good Chris throw at the middle. Complete to... 
Kevin uh, Stolte. All right, it's fourth and two. They're bringing the punting team in. And this has just been total domination in this first first half of the first game of the season. Now you've, you've, got, you've got to watch them with a long count to see if they get A.B. off sides here. Vic Otero back on his 32. It's time to get it away. Nice kick, fair catch, Otero. First and 10 for the Colonials on their 37-yard line. All right, you've got 57 seconds to go here and uh, about 60, 62 yards, 63 yards. Well, did you go for it, Tim, or did you keep it on the ground and see what your ground game's gonna do? No, I think uh, if I'm Coach Bassett, I, I think to have a, you know, to really get a successful season well underway, this team's got to develop tonight as much as it can to keep playing, uh, you know, into the season. So they, these kids are learning. They got to they got to test the whole offense as much as they can. Put these kids in positions to make plays. Oh boy! Interception! Oh. Fumble! No, they called it oh. down. Wow! Whoa, boy! Talk about a quick call. We got to look at the replay on that. And uh, Finn Murray just picked the wrong receiver on that one. He's got the ball. And now uh, he no, his knee was down. Good call. Good call. And you know, the uh, it looked like an in, an invert play. Good call by the defensive coach taking the uh, player that responsibility for the flat to invert back right, yeah, into, the, into the uh, hook zone. Vecchioni patiently cutting back over the middle, gets back to the original line of scrimmage. And we got 37, 36 seconds on the clock. Chelmsford taking their sweet time on, on uh, this possession when they really haven't been uh, in position to score all night. Well, this is a quarterback who has not, not started before. Oh, nothing doing. And uh, Vecchioni. They're just owning the O-line of, of Chelmsford. And here's a replay, and I, that looks look like at that, Look at Andrew this. Fleming here. Look at Andrew Fleming just blow it up. Wow. All right, four and a half seconds to go by the stadium clock here. Time for one more play. Okay, so you want to tell me why Chelmsford called the timeout on the 42-yard line with four and a half seconds to go? <coughs> I mean, I think maybe this is a, a teaching moment for the uh, Chelmsford coach and the, and the team. Well, I think to your earlier gonna... point, it's disorganization, uh, Mark. They they haven't been able to call a play from the sidelines to the huddle and get out there in an organized way. And I think literally this coach they, they would have run, run out of time. I don't think they yeah. have a Hail Mary play in their bucket yet or whatever. And that's that's what they're going to try to do here, I would think. Where's Noah? Of 14 seconds on the clock. So maybe time for two. trying to call time out and the reps weren't. Okay. All right, here we go. Get another timeout. This reminds me of the end of an NBA game, you know? <laughs> the last two minutes take about 45 minutes. You, you had a deep safety there. I don't know if it was Sweeney or I couldn't make out the number at the goal line for AB. Well, I just I just spotted a really good looking fried dough. <laughs> I haven't had fried dough in about two years. All right, here we go now. Okay, now AB. Oh, that looks like a flag. 
Little sprint out pass, out of bounds. With now 8.7 seconds to go. Here's the replay, good? Okay, uh, good, good play. A little pass, take it out of bounds, stop the clock. Put yourself in a position to try to reach the end zone if you can. I don't know if this quarterback has the arm to do it. He has not had a good first half. And I'm not sure it's entirely his fault. So Noah Sweeney playing up uh, here on Mike Napoli. He's got Napoli one-on-one. -on -one. On the outside, it looks like that's where they would go. They look for him. Up, nope, little swing pass and mishandled forward pass incomplete. All right, five seconds to go. One thing that Sweeney has is makeup speed. I mean, he can be he can be beat and still break up the play. But well, you know, I was going to say that uh, in the hail mary uh, situation, uh, Mark, with somebody like Sweeney. They throw that up and he gets that tip. Uh, and you <laughs> he gotta, could be coming the other way. You got a right? spread field here, yeah. you know, you better be careful. <laughs> you can think he's back on the, on the track. Oh, there we go. There's the, there's the there's throw. There's a missile downfield, out of bounds, good coverage. As they had a double on the okay, well, and a half. Well, I'll tell you, one thing that he showed me is uh, Rabia showed me that he does have an arm, and that was a beautiful spiral into the end zone. That was a heck of a throw, but you know, I think as uh, as you said before, you know, if you look at the the two teams, AB firing on all cylinders, Jonesford looks like a, a first scrimmage game where they really haven't executed really on any front whatsoever. It was a very sloppy, probably the sloppiest half of football I've ever seen. I, you know, I, I have a children's routine. You're absolutely right. So, you know, with that, the AB uh, band takes the field. That's going to do it for first half action. We'll be right back after this message with the stat man player comparison. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. It's time for our Statman Halftime Player Comparison. Mark, take it away. Okay, Finn Murray off to a blazing start, kind of cooled off a little bit at the end of the first half, but was 5 of 10 for 124 yards and one touchdown. On the receiving end, Stan Bernard had two catches for 26 yards. Vic Otero, two catches for 57 yards and the lone uh, passing touchdown and Ethan Loeb, one catch for a whopping 41 yards for 124 yards. As far as rushing, Cronowet, six for 27. Uh, Finn Murray, five rushes for 40 yards. Uh, uh, Pachillo, one for three. And then we had Borowet with that touchdown, four rushes for 25 yards, and that beautiful touchdown run. And Vic Otero with that with that bowl right into the end zone for two yards. Uh, you've got uh, the Chelmsford quarterback with four passes out of uh, six attempts for a whopping 14 yards, and then rushing 12 rushes for 13 yards. So practically no offense for Chelmsford. Yeah, you know, you, the takeaway is it's just a very balanced attack by AB, and uh, the defense is shut down. I don't know what competition we really have tonight, but I think that defense can scale and continue that that uh, shutdown capability all season long. Let's see how they continue to grow. That's fantastic. So, wow. Wow. It's just a great first half. 21 nothing. Stay tuned, everybody. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. 
For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. Let's take a look at some key plays from the first half. And what a half of football by A.B. Here's Ben Murray rolling out, and he finds Ethan Lowe on a nice little cutback over the middle route as he takes off and just keeps trucking all the way down inside the 40-yard line. What a great play. Okay, they're going to make a living off of this all year long. Just that little fake and right up the middle. All right, here's Finn Murray again, up the middle. Look at the balance he has. He just will not go down, takes a hard hit, and holds on to the football, and then gets uh, football just a little bit Okay, loose. and here is a new, improved, strengthened Vic Otero with his first of two touchdowns. And just a great defensive play by Fleming, Captain Fleming. Okay, and that's the way they drew it up. Perfect pitch and catch to Vic Otero. Wow. Then looking to his right, and Stan Bernard catches it, tears down the sideline again. Just a beautiful shot. Okay, here we go, Hollister Stein! He's got it! He has it, he doesn't have it, he's got it! And Hunger with the recovery. I think we got a break on that one. All right, Alex Burowitz showing his speed and strength up the middle. What a beautiful touchdown run. Okay, Finn Murray throwing his first interception and only interception. Late in the first, late in the first half. Wow, just a lot of action, A.B. Band just came off the field with their their first effort of the season. They look as good as a football team out there. So this is great. Now Chelmsford's just finishing up a beautiful night here. And uh, I'm all set for a second half action. I could be here for days. This is a beautiful way to watch AB come back on season, Mark. Great, great start so far. Great start. All right, we'll be right back after this message for second half action. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. All right, welcome back. Second half action, A.B. to receive here, back deep. Uh, Vic Otero and Stan Bernard. And here we go. Looks like Otero's going to take it at his own 14. Picks his way, gets a crease outside, and gets across the 40 to 42 yard line. A nice return by Vic Otero. Yeah, Vic fi you know, finally had a chance to uh, have a little space and run in space. Not a play. He's gimpy right now. He looks yeah. like he's hurting. He's going to get off the sideline here. Let's yeah. just hope he's going to walk that off. Yeah, it looks like he's going to be able to walk it off. But no, he's, he is hobbling. I, we may not see him back tonight. Let's hope that's a cramp. Mr. C. Mr. C working on him right now. He is Mr. C is the king of cramps. 
Mr. He's C. never he's never met a cramp that he can't fix. Had a nice talk with Mr. C before the game. He was, wanted the kids to focus on hydration. They can get through tonight given the small squad and how they really uh you get a lot of action across this. Well that's this good team. advice for us too. <laughs> All right. Play action. It's a keeper. Finn Murray getting the outside, but evades one tackle and then he's gonna get harassed by about four Lion defenders. Here's the replay. Just well, that was probably the best defensive penetration uh, of the game so far. Vecchioni really. Yeah, hey. Vecchioni just held him up so the rest of the team could get him. And it's second and about 13 right now. Talk about conditioning of our team with about 40 players total. Have a lot of quality, but very little quantity in this team. All right, Finn looking for Sweeney and just in out of the hands as he doesn't. Yeah, if you look five at that, yard out there. Yeah, if you look at that pass, it wasn't quite in his catch zone. Sweeney doesn't have a lot of experience as a receiver. And now it's third and long. So far, very choppy two plays for AB to start the second half. Pass and deep over the middle. Stan oh. Bernard, oh, just a little low. Bernard again had his man beat. Oh, he ran a great pattern. And just take a look at this replay. Finn's got time. He sees him. And that ball is just, oh, it, was, it could have been catchable. All right. I think first punt of the game here. Like uh, Vecchioni and uh, number eight, Dylan, Dylan Brother. And not a fair catch as Brotherson takes it at the 35 wow. and gets a couple. Yeah, that's a, that's a gutsy play on the part of Brotherson. All right, let's see if we have any change in, uh, in the signal caller here. Nope. We've got uh, Rabius back behind center. Again, Chelsea with that foot-to-foot -foot line stance. Give this to Vecchioni on the outside oh, and again, nothing there. Nothing doing. That is Puccillo. Mr. Nick Puccillo. Just snuffing out the play. Here's the replay. And look at that angle that he took. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Just two very athletic linebackers anchoring this AB team. Scramble outside, Rabius looking. And, oh, it's over the hands of Noah Sweeney and safety Finn Murray. Did you see? Did you see the the territory that Sweeney made up on that receiver over that course of twenty? Look at this. Look at look at that. Look, look at Sweeney Sweeney's chase speed. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Ball in the 25 yard line. And here. maybe the best play that Sweeney made was to make sure he didn't knock Finn down. Because you know that's a touchdown, yeah. right? It's, right. It's, it's a little heads up there. Vecchioni gets, gets an outside crease and nothing there as. Is that Finn? Okay, that's that made Matt that Cox again, I think. I think Matt Cox and <laughs> Finn Murray out there. 
Let's see yes. that. Look at this. Look at them just stretch it out. Vecchioni with good speed. Matt Cox. <coughs> beat, and then, okay. Is that Otero? That's Otero, that's Otero back up. on yeah. the field. That's good to see. Could have been a cramp. Lost the, lost the yardage on the play. Back up, back oh, on again. That. Not a chance. Nothing doing. And not a lot of uh, creative play calling by the Stanford. <laughs> I mean, by the Chelmsford. Uh, well, just take a look at Matt German. I mean, Matt is, you know, he, he's. Uh, He's only like five, six, a junior. And he's, he's looking like a lot of those nose guard types that we've had over the years. Arabia's doing a sprint out pass again. Same play, they tried to run and it's out of bounds this time. And uh, we had it well covered as it uh, looks like Stan Bernard at yeah, uh, man, number that, 17. And that, was that was Tyler Amaral who really made the play, just making it impossible Arabius to get anything going on that play. And now it's fourth down. They do have a great field goal kicker, although that's not going to help them a whole lot at 21 to nothing. Kevin Hennessy, one of the best in the state. down about 14 yards. We've not seen. Radius rolls to his left again, throws the ball low over the middle and almost intercepted by Finn. Better to knock okay, it down. Okay, better to knock it down, exactly. I would have intercepted right, it for the right, thrill. Right, exactly. <laughs> but yeah. uh, that's a good play. All right, we hold on downs. No harm, no foul here. But I gotta see that that closing speed by Sweeney. You could just see, I mean, over a course of 20 yards, he made up about 15 yards. It was like, it was like that kid was just standing still. I wonder if they have a, a little fly run. Well, in that's the agenda what I was thinking. Him, that's know? what I was thinking. A fly, I, I, a I like fly. to get him involved somehow. Right, get right. that kid involved. F find out if he can catch them all. That's what they did with Bob Hayes. <laughs> All right. Stan Good Bernard catch. with a catch, a little sh sprint out pass, and Finn Murray rifles it out there. Maybe uh, see what they spot. It's a two yard gain. Yeah, he really climbed the ladder on that to get the More ball. Than that, uh, where's that ball? A uh, five yard gain. Yeah, look at this. Look how high Stan got up wow. on that. Kept both feet in. Only needed one, but had both feet in. Play action, Finn with the keeper off tackle, cuts up the middle, and across midfield. First down, Colonials. Now the, the key to that play was the motion of Vic Otero that had, look at this. Well, you can't see, you can't see Vic to the right, but that had the whole defense moving and just to open up the middle for Finn Murray. You can see in that replay, he, he looks much faster this year, Finn does. Yeah, look at that. Watch the explosiveness through there. He, that's a that's a whole step and a half faster than last year. All right, this time. Ferrat on the uh, on the outside with the handoff and well covered by the Lions to the wide side of the field. Yeah, a little indecisive on that on that run, whether to go wide or to cut it in. Couldn't quite make up his mind. Second and 10. I love that play because Vic Otero took that defensive end right out of the play and opened up the middle for Finn. That's a good throw. Good throw. And Bernard catching in traffic over the middle, hook zones. Boy, he has. Here's the replay. This is a big time throw and catch in traffic. You got a safety coming down on you. Nice play. All 
right in space. So it's Bernard and uh, his forward motion should be a first down. Let's see where they mark it. Looks it to me. You know what they're doing? They're, they're just absolutely annihilating the zone because what they're doing is they're having Bernard just go about five, six yards, just sit down uh, in that zone and uh, Finn Murray doesn't waste any time getting First rid of down. that ball. Yeah, you know, it's they're respecting his speed and you gotta do that. It's nice when you have, you know, somebody like that. But I like the fact that he can play inside this year. Vic Otero with a nice catch and well covered by Lions there. No gain on the play, second and 10. Yeah, no, it's good to see Vic back. No, no blocking in front of him here. This was... Uh, but I love that shake and bake move. I mean, he was... He was doing shake and bake like he had a blocker in front of him. And here we go. Second and long. You got one-on-one -on -one coverage with Bernard on the left, on the uh, left there. Finn looks that way with the one-on-one. -on -one. He throws the ball up, and Bernard catches it. Touchdown! Oh, you, this kid, I called that one. You called that one. You can see it all over the field. I think the crowd was ready to stand up. And why are they letting Bernard? That is what you call a recipe for disaster. You need a safety. He's on the wide side of the field all alone. And great throw by Finn Murray, touchdown Colonials. 27 nothing. And Stan Bernard is, uh, he's hobbling a little bit right now too. He may have, he may have a cramp. Well, Mr. First game of the season. Let's see if Mr. C can uh, get to work on Stan. Wow, kick is up and it is good. And another another good play by Vic Otero on that snap to uh, set up that ball in kicking position for Finn. And it's 28-0 uh, with 4.05 to go in the third quarter. There's some work to be done on some special teams in this upcoming week to, to get ready for Reading and that, that it's gotta be a little crisper, but wow. Now, to some extent, these little, uh, these little slot uh, passes are setting up that big play. Here's exactly. the replay. Exactly. Ben Murray. Nice ball thrown over the defender. Bernard keeps going, doesn't stop his route. Touchdown. Yeah, you you know, you would think that with uh, with Bernard just sitting down in the slot that maybe maybe they would do like a double move, but this is this is just a fly right into the end zone. I mean, if I were Chelmsford, the one thing I'd pick up is that, uh, similar to last year, Finn is not looking off his receiver at all. You have the safety rotate to where he's looking, and you're going to cause more problems. So we get into better competition this year. Uh, well, that's what, that's Scott, that's change, what scouts yeah. are going to be looking for. Yep. All right. Down the middle. And a crease there. Wow. Good return by the Lions, by uh, number that 87, Sean Mescal, is that right? I believe that was true. Yeah, who's our spotter here? Yeah, that's, uh, that's Sean Mescal. Uh, He's a wide receiver, just a sophomore. And they're, they're, they're sticking with their quarterback here. Had a fierce competition, I heard, among three, three or four quarterbacks. Uh, your research goes deep. All right, keeper by Rabius, and he turns it up for about a three, four yard gain. All right, Nate Sullivan, good play. We're getting some other players in there right now. We've got Nate Sullivan coming in. brother, former quarterback, and then all-star receiver for the Colonials. Oh, there we go, five yards. And 
that's a that's a tough one for the Lions because that puts them in. Uh, you know, they were running the ball and getting three, four yards and trying to get a little bit of a, a you know, progression of plays, successful plays, and that changes the game now with second and ten. Changed the play call, I should say. All right, Becky Ong cuts over the middle and Again, A.B., very disciplined, covering all the, the gaps. Just are staying you know, at home. You know, it's funny. I mean, Vecchione did everything that he could. And, went to, and he's got a, he's skimpy right now. But, you know, you think, you, you look at the middle cutback and, uh, you know, first game of the season against a lot of teams, that's wide open. Might be a touchdown. And uh, A.B. just stayed very disciplined there. With the, well, Nothing doing. Intended for a, obviously a tight end. That's yeah, big yeah. <laughs> you can't, can't even run a screen. Who you know is that? Have... Number 17, Anthony uh, Adno, whatever. Five, that can't be. Adna, Adnoy. That can't be him. It, he looks a lot bigger than 150 pounds. It can't be. Well, you know, I, I'm impressed with the play of number 21, Jed Hargett. Only a sophomore. Uh, he's made some great plays. And by the way, his brother was the player of the game last Saturday for WPI, made 12 tackles. And also for WPI, JT Kelly, lacrosse standout, decided to go out for football his senior year and is now playing special teams and, uh, and halfback for, uh, for RPI in Troy, New York. That's uh, great. So it's great to see the AB kids uh, continue their football careers. And uh, JT just had that football bug. I spoke with his mom. He's been a lacrosse standout. Uh, he was at AB, of course, and uh, just wanted to play football this year. He was fun to watch. You know, if you had a, uh, if you had an all AB, you know, whatever, top 10 gritty player list, he would make that list for sure. Absolutely. You know? All right, Jumpsford kicks it away. Vicotero did not call fair catch. Mishandled, and it's Jumpsford's ball. And you, you, could, you could see Vic kind of backtracking. Really didn't have a good sense. Take a look at this. He's kind of backtracking now on the ball. And wow. So that's a big turn. 159 to go in the third quarter. And Alliance. Seven yards away from the red zone. Keeper, uh, Rabius, three or four. Yeah, but the pursuit is incredible. All game long, the, pers the defensive pursuit all the way down the line has just been amazing. But they, you know, the way they're playing, it, they, they play like they don't have an offense installed. The kids are playing Sandlot or something. Uh, they're better, Chelsea's better than what they're showing uh, from an individual personnel point of view. Uh, I mean, the line foot to foot, it just, it, it just doesn't make sense to me the way they're. Option, Vecchione, and Once again, there's a uh, hundred, you know. And that's it, and that is, uh, that is Puccillo with that sideline to sideline speed. We've had a lot of great linebackers with that kind of speed. Look at this pursuit. And look at them, look at everybody. Uh, Just beautiful. I love when uh, when AB puts on a team where the middle linebackers are running backs. You know you're yep. you get a fast team. All right, nice throw in this hook zone for a first down. That was a great play. A great to, uh, throw. Mike Lapoli and Mike Lapoli, Sal's younger brother, 
for this Here's first the reception. We're almost at the end of the third quarter. Last couple of plays. This may be the last play of the third quarter. Vecchione gets the edge and oh, there's a flag. A, that's got to be an offensive penalty. I don't know if that's a hold or a block in the back, but I believe this is coming back. It is uh, against Chelmsford. It's like a block in the back. Yeah, block in the back. Interesting. You know, Did you see the quarterback after the handoff look like the play was broken? Did you see? If you see the replay here, I'm not sure if that was on purpose, but he. I think he. Yeah, I think he might have been trying see, to sell see, it. Look. Yeah, but no, it was just a tough just handoff. A, just, a just, tough a, hand. just a bad. I didn't know handoff. if it was on purpose right, or yeah. not, but there. No, it's just a bad handoff. Conspiracy theorist. Corner route throw and, and that Noah. Is great. With a big time oh, interception in the dang. end zone. Noah Sweeney comes up sky high. Did he? He had perfect and he's on position. The, he's on the uh, ground there. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. that's Noah. I don't know if he got no, the no, wind no, taken. No, no. no, Sweeney got up. Swing got up okay. somebody else. It's a it's a receiver. Oh, it is. A, it's a Chelmsford. Yeah, a Chelmsford player? receiver. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, as as we're at the end of the third quarter here, I think what we have to guard against him is irrational exuberance. Okay, we're we're do, we're dominating a team, but this is not this is not a good football team, and. Uh, and uh, you know, once we start playing better competition, uh, then it, it's going to be a, a bigger test. Next year, we uh, next week we play Reading. Reading went three and eight last year. I don't know how what kind of team they have, but then uh, right after that, we we'll play Lincoln Sudbury, and that's going to be the test of the season. You know, and, and what makes LS so tough is that offensive and defensive line is. As good as they've ever put on the oh, field. Oh, they've got that Cam. You know, I mean, he's going to Alabama to, to play offensive line. I mean, he's that good. I mean, he's got colleges chasing him. Oh, Mr. C still out there with the Chelmsford receiver. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna have be, a little hold up AB, here. It's an AB player. Oh, I'm sorry, Our I didn't esteemed, see that. Uh, producer Rick Degon says uh, he's got the, uh, he must have a drone floating over the field or something like that. You know Rick, he's got all the tools back there. <laughs> actually, I, I, you know, I, I read about one team that's actually using a drone for practice. I, 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 I forget which team it is, but there's a big article about uh, using the drone and then taking pictures and then looking at them. Yeah, so this is an A-B play. Let's just hope. Uh, Stampin' Art. Yeah. We, All right. That looks like a oh. sprained ankle. Let's hope uh, Stan is okay. So one thing we talked about at the beginning of the game, Tim, in our opening, is that this is a team that cannot afford any injuries at all because uh, there's just, there's no depth. Yeah, we want to thank all our sponsors, by the way. We want to thank Acton Pharmacy, Dunkin' Donuts, Gallant Insurance, Huntington Learning Center, Medical Aesthetics, National Aviation Academy, Shari, Kate, and Epstein. Steinberg, Lally Foundation, and T.C. Landos for the pizza. Thank you all. Thank you, sponsors. We appreciate 
everything you do for us. All right, Vin Murray with a nice play action. Bring up pass to Vic, uh, Vic Otero there for about a 15 yard gain. That's a great point you made, Mark, uh, on the irrational exuberance. You're absolutely right. And, uh, you know, to that point, I like the fact that we're, you know, working the entire playbook. Because a play like that against a really tough team, even if they're dominant physically, that can work, you know, as an example. So you have, that's the kind of play you're going to have to make, actually, against a, a tough team. All right, same play to the other side. And uh, really a nice first down run. Okay, welcome to the Sean big league. Kelly. Sean Kelly, sophomore. Welcome to AB Varsity Football. You see that quick release and, by Finn Murray. He's got a little speed there and a good block there by Weckman. Weckman has not caught a ball, but he's been all over the field knocking people around. All right, little trips left formation here. Well, wow, that ball was strong Ooh. before he even cut. It was a good, good throw. That's to Noah Sweeney and Tender yeah. Noah. Yeah. He's still getting that first game. You know, under well, his belt when you, here. You know, when you, ha when you haven't played football and you're going out for the first first time, uh, it's a challenge. But he threw that before he even cut. That's that's a nice little uh, throw there. That's well coached. Second and ten. This time, Barrowit up the middle for five. Yeah, I hate to, I hate to uh, you know be a re keep repeating myself, but number 78, T.J. Mabardi, is having one heck of a game. Here's the replay. Watch this. See if you get a good look at the line of scrimmage. They're really living off the right side of that line. He's a guard too, huh? Yeah, he's, he's a, a guard. Boy. He's a guard. No. Well, he's just moving people. Been up back the middle. Oh, almost intercepted. That's the first time that they really got some pressure on Fisk. And he had to get, get rid of the ball a little bit earlier than he'd hoped for. That's a tough throw, too, Mark. You had a Chelmsford defender. You can see the Chelmsford defender about 15 yards deep. Got to throw the ball over that defender and dropping it right in. All right, we got about a third and six. Nine, 19 to go in the and game. Are we, are, we are we looking at a penalty here? or The ref looks like he's uh, going to mark something he's off here. Looking and he forward is. to a couple of steps here. And now he's going back. I have no idea I, what he just did. I thought. OK. I think uh, that's a disco move by the ref. Uh, yeah. Whatever it was, it was declined. So three steps forward, three steps back. Now it's fourth down. All right. And We're this, is, punt. this is the uh, the uh, gentle, gentleman football of uh, Coach Tim Bassett, punting the ball in Chelmsford territory here. It's a good place to fake a punt just for Again, practice, bad snap. We get it away low, and a good bounce. Whoa, uh, it's gonna be good. A great bounce as it's down on the four. It's gonna be good, four yard line. And Victor All right. Otero. With that, let's take, uh, take a look at the turn of the century list there, Mark. I know uh, you've scoured the entire universe. Yeah, this is very exciting. Everett, of course, look at that record of Everett, 190 and 23. But look down, number nine, AB, 151 and 56. And I want to tell you, 
Included in that is a 52-game winning streak. Even if you take that 52-game winning streak away, you still have a 99-56 and 56 record, and that's pretty darn good. Wow. Turn of the century. I meant team of the century, but yeah, that's a great that's a great point. I knew you would do that analysis. The quadratic equation, the overhead, you know, carry to five. Just... All right, Jonesford. Ooh. That came in hot. And that's a risky throw, uh, you know, by Chelmsford in a in a night when you know you really haven't shown that you've been executing uh, yeah, that, that play. That, that's, a, that's a throw that could put Mike, Mike Lapoli out for the season, actually, on that uh, slam. Uh, Alex Barat checked in, and uh, Stan Bernard, I don't know where he is okay, on the sideline. Okay, we've got a bunch of new players. We've got Carter Gamboni in the defensive back. Same play. And uh, just a lot of time. You know, you throw late. It's better than throwing late over the middle, which is the worst scenario, but still. And he's... Uh, just rotate that safety over where his eyes are, and you're going to get a pick six here very quickly. You've got big number 74, Michael Didi, Jr. I saw him in warm-ups, and he looked very impressive. Big kid, number 74. Looks very strong and athletic. That little combat in the end zone with the yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. As we're talking about number 74. Pass is complete and All right. up, they, uh, move, they move the change here. Just a first down. A lot of new players in for A B. Eight. 22 to go in the game. We got uh, we got Carter and Dylan Gambon in the game. And that's incomplete. Great coverage by Sean and Kelly. Sean Good play. Kelly. You always you always look for those sophomores who uh, really make a mark at the beginning of the season. Anthony Pedarino playing uh, corner. Pass is complete. Okay, it's another, another first, first down. down. Yep, another first down for Chelmsford. And that was Carter Gamboni on the uh, Kevin, coverage there. Kevin Stolke. Chelmsford still with his first team out there, it looks like. Vecchione on off tackle. Oh, nothing. great, great stop. So AB, with even the substitution, still playing very solid against well, the Well, you still, you still got number 78 out there, TJ Mabardi. <laughs> He's played a lot of football tonight. Oh, that could have been a fumble. I don't know if that, if that was uh, back where they called it a forward pass. It was very close. Bring up third down. Here's the replay here. Take a look at this. Let's see. Yeah, that's a forward pass. That ball was just not very well thrown. It was wobbling all over. All right, 39. We have not seen a blitz this whole game. Here's one right there. <laughs> First time. Who called that. And a little hold on that play. Wow, good coverage. That was the first blitz of the game. And I think that was uh, Pablo coming in on that. Let's take a let's take a look at the replay. Let's look at number five. 
and watch him go after the quarterback if we can get a replay here. Fourth and nine, Chelmsford will punt this well. There he goes. We moved uh, Ravius off his mark here. Rick Otero with a great catch. Oh, good catch. Oh, it was almost I like I thought, he... that, I think he thought that it was a fair catch. It was very, it was very strange after he caught the ball. And I wasn't sure whether it's a fair catch or whether the ball was in play. It's lucky he didn't get hurt there. Yeah. You know? All right, let's see if we see a new quarterback come in here, 28 to nothing with 6.49 to go. Got Nate Sullivan as a possibility, number eight. Teddy Murray is a freshman. That, uh, that's Finn's brother. Well, I wouldn't be surprised to see Finn back out again. Early season, you need a lot of... Yeah, you need a lot of reps, yeah, you for need sure. A lot of reps, yeah. Would you like to be that Murray family with Liam and Finn and Terry? Talk about rough housing and... Nate Sullivan yeah, there, okay. you called it though. There right. you go. We got Nate. Uh, Gotta get a little action here. All right, handoff up the middle, and nothing there. It's Chelmsford. And it's so interesting how quarterbacks run in the family. You've got Finn Murray, you've got Teddy Murray, you've got Nate Sullivan and his brother Cal Sullivan. It's just, uh, it's uh, genetics, family tradition. A lot of brothers who play quarterback. It is. It's, uh, it's that. Backyard confidence, you know, you throw it to your brother, touchdowns, well, and you can, bring I, it to the field. You, 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 know? can, you can talk about your own family, talk about brothers. You got Henry and Mikey Morris. Yeah. yeah that, that's exhibit A right there. That's it, that's true. All right, keeper. Whoa, you oh, see a little high yeah, step there. Okay. Little Heisman action. Very nice run. I think he's going to order a dozen eight by tens of that run. Look Bring at that. Third look, at, down. look at this replay with that high step. Yeah, I think you're right. I you think know what? He reminds me a little bit of Cal that way. That's a uh, that's a postcard. Yeah, Cal, right there. Cal. Cal ran like that. All right, Nate Sullivan with the handoff up the middle. Goes. Wow. wow. Big run by Pablo. Pablo. Barrios yes. With a, Showing a, a run lot that of showed power. speed and yeah. power. Yes. Yeah. That, that's a good looking run. Well, Coach, Coach Bassett said a lot, of, a lot of these kids have hit the weight room, and he said that a lot of them are about 15 pounds heavier, and it's all muscle. And look at Pablo just shake tacklers off. Tough, gritty run. When you're up 28 to nothing, this late in the game, you're running like that, that's that's uh, A-B tradition all the way. All right, a little power play with Pablo. This time, Chelmsford's ready. Yeah, just didn't, didn't have the angle there. They had the angle on him. One and 10. We're winding down to 425 to go in a very convincing victory by AB. Okay. Now I got the numbers for Murray. Six carries for 60. No, seven carries for 60 yards. 70 yards. Not perfect. Seven carries for 60 yards. And All right, second and ten. Finn. Yards, oh, is that, that's a forward pass. Incomplete. Forward pass. Incomplete. Incomplete right 
You know, Tim, I, I, you know, who else we're, we're missing here is longtime assistant on the field, Noah Lelchuk. His family moved to, Flor moved to uh, I think it was Florida, and they're going to try, they're right across from a high school. So they're going to try to get Noah involved in the football program down there. But Noah was a fixture here for so many years. That's, ah, oh, we miss him. He was here for all the years that my son Timmy played. Uh, little uh, option play, flag on the play. It was a very interesting halftime. You folks didn't see it, but they had the Chelmsford and Acton Boxborough bands playing together. It, it was it was a beautiful thing because they they just sounded great. Here we go, and here's the pitch. The pitch was done perfectly, but you know missed a block on the edge there. And uh, all right, 3:41 to go, and we have fourth and nine. Ben Murray out the punt. Uh, yeah, he's coming back, back in. in. I think Pablo is. No. No, it's uh, Barrowett. Yeah, Barrowett. All right, good punt. Okay, all right. It kind of bounced a bit here. Uh, just bounced the wrong way, but well, it's a late hit, I I would say there. But uh, sounds got away with it. Oh uh, yeah, there's a little uh, little activity there. At first, I thought there was no intent, but then uh, this Jake Hendrickson uh, clearly clearly has an attitude. A lot of frustration on the Chelmsford. You know, they they just. They came with nothing tonight. Right. You know, to your uh, earlier point about irrational exuberance, on the other hand, you never know. We may be just that good that we're making chumps with, I mean, clearly there's execution errors on chumps with part. But from a line of scrimmage point of view, oh yeah, you might, you, you won't, you can't tell yet. <laughs> but, oh, uh, you're, you're absolutely right. But in a few facets of the game, like the line of scrimmage and the linebacker play, uh, and you know the, uh, you know the way we're executing powers and the pass protection, and, and also and also the overall team speed. Yes, and, that and, team speed. Will work, you know, that that will show against any team. So if we're that if we're that strong on those fronts, then it makes a lot it will make a lot of teams look bad, you know, it just will. Because you know, you take a kid like Vecchioni, that kid is not He's slow. A good player. <laughs> He's a good He's player. A good player. So from that point of view, you know, if you take a look at just the players we know that are good that we've seen before, Vecchioni, solid player. And uh, we he looks like he's a half a step slower than last year, and I think that's just our team speed. That's a great throw. If, you know, right in the zone between the uh, the player covering the flat and uh, and the safety, and that's a very good throw. And yeah, that's Peter Caruso, who's really their top receiver. Who's really done nothing at all tonight? He's got great size, 6'2, 210. All right, ball incomplete. Okay, you got Nate Sullivan on both sides of the ball here, breaking up that pass. Carter Gambone or Gamboni? Yeah, we got we got to figure that yeah, out. We'll We're, get better, we'll, folks. We'll, sorry we'll, for we'll that. We'll get it right next game. Wow. That pass was intended for the. Uh, the pass was intended for me. The hot dog yeah, salesman yeah, on the. <laughs> yeah, uh, something. For the golf cart. Yeah. 
All right, third and long. Mercifully, we're at the two minute mark here. Just playing out the string. AB rushing three. And just one man deep for Chelmsford that released incomplete. That'll bring a turnover and down. Well, we've got a, after Reading, we've got a, a rare Saturday afternoon game against Barnstable. Uh, thankfully, it's not in Barnstable <laughs> like it was last year. Last year, it was tough to travel all the way to Barnstable and get beat. Uh, games at AB on a Saturday afternoon. Third game, and then Lincoln Sudbury is our fourth game. Wow, here's a keeper. Raby is down the sideline for about a 40, you know, 35 yard route there, you know. Let's see how this play really opened up. That's a big seam down the sideline. Well, Chelmsford looking to get a, re a respect touchdown. That's what, that's what they are. CAB rushing three, everybody back deep. Nice defensive play, no, incomplete. Good hit, good, good hit. hit by Gamboa. Timed it perfectly, look at this, look at this defense. Just right in the middle of his back and just dislodged the ball. Good looking play. All right. Maybe it throws the ball deep and it's out of bounds. Didn't have a chance. Yeah, it didn't look like Caruso had a sense of where the ball was or what the route was. They have a lot of work to do. They're, they're, in, a, they're in a tough league. They're the Division Two, but they playing a very tough Merrimack Valley League. Look for Lapoli in that slot there. Really has not been involved all game. Again, a very good, sure play. Good coverage, very good coverage. And now it's fourth and 10. Dylan Gambone, or Gamboni again, very, he's having a good uh, series here. All we need is one more incomplete pass and then take a, take a knee or two and, and get in the car. We blitz this time off the edge. And a good throw. This little seven yard out pattern there, complete. Can't and see who that going, was. And that is going to turn the ball over to AB. Not enough for a first down. That's, it. That's just another part of playing smart football, even at the end of the game here. You know, you, you, can't, you can't throw that pass. You've got, to, you've got to throw a pass that's going to get you the first down. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't just take a slant route, a little post right, route, right. and just go for it. throw it. Yeah. You have, you have kids that can run on this team. He challenges safety. And, uh, Okay, 105 to go in the game, 28 to nothing. And uh, we are under center and take a knee and that I'll count down and we have what looks like one more play to go. Well, I'm gonna miss you next week. I'm gonna be uh, 
You're going to be doing the football game. I'm going to be uh, sipping a glass of wine on the Isle of Santorini, having a um, nice meal. And uh, but I'll be I'll be I'll be back for Barnstable. That's great. Well, we'll miss you, Mark. You know the uh, it sounds like such a wonderful trip to get that you know that inside tour of uh, beautiful Greece. You know that uh, sounds fantastic. All right, one more knee, counting down. That should do it, folks, as A.B. dominated in every facet of the game. Special teams, offense, defense, passing, running. That was just a, a terrific, terrific performance by A.B. So that's going to do it for today's game. But don't go away just yet, folks. We'll be right back after the game with the Coach's Corner, second half highlights, and more. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. Welcome back, everybody. Terrific game, 28-0 AB. Let's take a look at the second half highlights. Here we go. All right, Gravius with a little scramble to his left and throws the ball to uh, Brian Mitchell as he scrambles up the sideline for about 35, 40 yards. Good play. Okay, here's Finn Murray. Take a look at this run. Best run of the night for Finn. Once again, he just owns the middle of the field. All right, Finn looking deep, and Stan Bernard runs the pattern all the way, and gets touchdown six. And here we go. Let's talk about Noah Sweeney. He can catch the ball. He might have had a couple of baubles there as a receiver, but he made a great catch as a defender. All right, little, little pass out to Sean Kelly. And you see that juke that gives him that outside leverage as he takes it down the sideline. And see how he moved the ball to his left hand to protect it? Welcome to AB Varsity Football, Sean. Well, that was terrific, you know. All right, listen, we want to we wanna thank our terrific staff making his first appearance for AB Football is Pete Tito. Thank you, Pete. And we have Corinne Joseph, Brittany Ford, and of course, Brian, our old, Brian Coolahan, our old standby, and Pat Snow in the booth, and our director, of course, as he's been for many, many years, is Rick Degon. And I want to thank Will Henry, our stat man, uh, for just doing a great job and keeping track of all the stuff we can't keep track of. Thank you, Will, and you know, just the whole staff. It's just such a quality production, and we got to all this great equipment the truck now has a hemi in it new paint <laughs> job new truck all these high def monitors this is just such a class 
sell high-tech production. So thanks, folks. That's going to do it for tonight's game, 28-0 AB. It's a great start to a brand-new 2018 season on a beautiful night. Thanks for watching this presentation of Action TV Sports. We'll see you next week.